But if our agents are allowed in, uh, our agents are already at the premises and they're ready to go in. So they're not prevented like we were prevented yesterday. But from our perspective, the way these elections are going, they're probably going to be the worst elections in the history of this country. We have information, for instance, where we have over 20 polling units where the votes, the accredited voters, are less than the total votes, which is not possible. We have over 20 polling units from the results that were announced yesterday, where from their own accredited voters, the total votes that they've now announced are, are more than the accredited voters. I'll give you an example. If you look at the Kobaha Kolobo, they have there the voters that were accredited. The figure they put there is nil, which is not possible. But that gives room for all kinds of uh, shady behavior. They now specify there that the APC had 227 and the PDP 103. What's the basis for that? If you go again to another Ekobao Haolobo, they have the number of accredited voters, number of accredited voters, 156. The total number of votes for APC, get this, 2,110. And for PDP, 57. And for LP, no votes. But the total accredited voters are 156. And we have 20 such units here. So there's something definitely going wrong. There's a result writing scheme going on, and it's totally unacceptable. This process is unacceptable. And then they're trying to disenfranchise our coalition agents. Um, like His Excellency read, at every point you find APC and their thugs supported by people dressed as security ag agents going to shoot at polling agents and disrupt processes. This is not acceptable in the 21st century, definitely not in Nigeria. I think we've gone way past this.